So today's video is about hill training because a lot of people have asked me to do more videos about specific training techniques and that's quite a broad term so we're going to try and break it down into many different videos and many different training methods and this probably won't be the only video on hill repeats it's just one video where we're going to talk about the advantages and why it may be beneficial for people who are watching this video to include hill repeats whether you're a sprinter or even a long distance runner or anywhere in between. So we're going to break it down into different sections of advantages and the first one is speed slash mechanics. So hill sprints because you are running against a resistance cause a stronger muscular contraction and as well as this you are recruiting more muscle fibers which causes a wider variety of muscles to be trained which should improve mechanics, power and cadence. Next section is end of race mechanics and we're using end of race mechanics specifically different to mechanics because generally speaking as you get towards the end of a race especially in distances 400 meters and above lactic starts to play a part and a lot of it comes into strength and your ability to hold form and carry on going rather than falling to pieces or whatever you like to call it like fading or dying or whatever you call it someone who does a lot of hill reps is Jakob Ingebrigtsen he's known for finishing fast or it's not generally faster than everyone else it's just stronger than everyone else and rather than speeding up, he generally just holds the pace that he was doing earlier on in the race. And he's able to finish as if he's looking like he's running faster. But in reality, everyone else is just slowing down. Someone else who you can class as these type of runners are Cole Hocker and Cooper Tier. They generally have strong finishers. They all have one thing or many things in common. Particularly now, Cooper and Jakob have a serious rivalry. But that is that they do hill repeats. Oregon tends to do longer hill repeats. Jakob does his traditional 2 times 10 by 200 meter hill repeats with jog down recovery and a longer rest in between. And the reason I say this is good for end of race mechanics because as mentioned it already improves strength but also one thing that it does do is towards the end of a hill rep, especially 200 meters and longer, let's say the last 50 meters you are fatigued at a higher rate which usually means, do you have anything to say? And as you fatigue during the end of that hill rep you are almost simulating how you're going to feel at the end of a race. So let's say you do in the Ingebrigtsen session where you do 20 reps of 200 meter hills in total. That is 50 meters of each rep where you're sort of practicing running at end of race tiredness or fatigue. So that's over a thousand meters of sort of using your form in a way that you will at the end of a race. So it just makes you focus on how to efficiently cover ground whilst you're tiring and also working against the resistance which is the hill whilst also reducing the impact of let's say if you're on the track on the flat having to try and get to that fatigue level so frequently you're going to be having a lot more impact and it ultimately will be a bit more unrealistic to cover that much ground whilst trying to get up that fatigue level because it'll be too much of an intense session you probably won't recover i just want to quickly say during the next week we will be releasing a lot of content around this shoe which i can't show on camera so i'm gonna have to blur it but i'm sure you can guess what it is so we're gonna be doing a lot of videos comparing it to other super shoes or other shoes i'm not even going to give that away make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications because hopefully we will be also doing a giveaway for this shoe if i can get things sorted with that as always please like and also comment today your favorite type of hill sessions or if you incorporate hills at all into your training so the next benefit of hill training is injury prevention slash reducing impact and I need to be careful when I say injury prevention, but there's a reason why I'm saying this is because in theory, as you're running up a hill, you are working against gravity. So rather than gravity bringing you down, you're sort of trying to get away, which ultimately reduces the force that you're going to be putting into the ground. And as you reduce the force you put into the ground, it sort of reduces the shock or impact that your legs receive. So one, this will help you recover marginally quicker, but in the sense of damage or impact, related damage you are going to be recovering quicker and also a lot of injuries come from impact so if you're reducing this then you should reduce the likelihood of impact related injuries and also because you're running up a hill the time it takes to run let's say 200 meters is longer than it takes on flat but in reality the benefit is arguably more so for the amount of time you're putting into the training you're getting more out of it if you're running up a hill which is good for people trying to build up mileage again whilst also getting intense sessions in. Hills are a great way to reduce the impact a lot more than just traditionally running on the flat. And the final reason, we have obviously mentioned strength and mechanics, but this one in particular is strength and core. When you're running up a hill, it causes you to engage more core stability muscles, which ultimately trains those muscles. And in return, one makes you sort of engage them when you're running on flat, which helps your form and makes you more powerful and more efficient but also it improves your core stability 
which as a whole, regardless of if you're training to run up a hill or not, you should be more efficient and stronger and just be able to hold form or a good form for longer in a race. And that is sort of the main thing. It's about slowing down as little as possible during the race and also being able to finish strong. And a big part of running is obviously aerobic and you've also got cardiovascular system. But another big system is physical or mechanical system. And that is just as important as other systems. So you need to make sure you're training all of them. Those are the advantages of hill training. And as I said, comment down below how often you do hill training and also what your favorite sessions are. And also comment what other videos you'd like to see on different training methods or anything like that. Thank you and goodbye.